In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about image resolution and also resizing your images. To do this, we need to come up to the image menu. From here, we're going to choose resize and then come across the image size. You'll note the keyboard shortcut there of Alt, Control and I. As soon as I select this, the image size dialog appears. And this is where we can control the pixel dimensions, also the document size and how we resample the image. At the moment, and by default, you can see that the pixel dimensions are currently locked. All I have access to are the document size dimensions, where I can change the width and the height and also the resolution. So if I was talking about resolution, we can see this image here is currently 230 pixels per inch. Now a standard size for print would be 300. If I was to change that now, watch what happens to the width and height values. You'll notice they just got a little bit smaller. If I go back and type in 72, you can see everything just got a whole lot bigger. So your resolution and changing it in this mode without resample image on can control how high and how wide your photo actually is in regards to resolution. We know also that 72 pixels per inch is the resolution we require for a web image. But if we were to choose 72 pixels per inch right now, saving this image for the web, we can see the width and the height is currently massive. And that's not really appropriate for something that's being viewed on the web. So what we need to do if you want to change these two settings and also the pixel dimensions are to make sure we have resample image on. Now before I go and select this, I'm going to hold down Alt on the keyboard. And watch what happens up here when I choose Alt. You'll see now that this dialog is allowing me to reset back to its default settings. Now that little shortcut or that little tip of holding down Alt is standard in all the dialog boxes that appear within Photoshop Elements. So if ever you want to reset one of your dialogs, you don't need to press cancel and then go back into the dialog. Just hold down Alt and you'll do the same thing by resetting it. So now we're back at the defaults when I first came into this dialog, I'm going to choose resample image. And you'll notice as soon as I check that, these options up here become available. You'll also note that we have a little chain icon which is linking the dimensions or constraining the proportions. So if I wanted to resize this image now back down to maybe 5 inches, I could do that by pressing 5. And what you'll notice is the resolution didn't change, but the pixel dimensions did. Okay, this image is now a whole lot smaller. This dialog is pretty cool in regards to the image size and the file size as well because it's telling us that it was 20.3 megabytes and now it's only 5.04. So if I was happy with that, I'd just press OK. What I want to do is I want to reset this again just by holding down Alt and choosing Reset. I'll turn back on Resample Image. So we're back at the starting point again with Resample Image on. Now watch what happens if I change the resolution down to 72. You'll notice that the width and the height stay the same, but the pixel dimensions got a whole lot smaller. So if you're trying to resize something for the web, you really want resample image on. Then when you change your resolution down to 72 pixels per inch, the image actually decreases in pixel dimension as well. So that's quite handy. Likewise, if I was to take that back to 300 instead of 240, you'll see that the size of the pixels just got a whole lot bigger as well. It got both wider and taller. So if I press OK now, Photoshop will go and process that and you can see my image is now a whole lot larger. So if ever you're wanting to adjust resolution or your image size, just remember image, resize and then image size. That's a dialog that controls all that functionality.